Hi Hope City Kids, it's Sammy and I'm excited to have you guys join us for our last week of Hope City Summer Kids Camp. So today, first things first, we're going to go through what we need from our bag. It's not going to be too hard because it's our last week, so as you guessed it, we're probably going to use pretty much the rest of what's left over in our bag. So you should have a set of baking cups, these are mine, and you should have this which is the Armor of God labels. So, oops, I'm holding it backwards. So if you can see, it's a bunch of little pictures of armor. So we'll talk about that. Then we need this picture of me handout that you should have gotten with your red bag. You'll also need some glue. I'm gonna be using a glue stick. You could use wet glue, you could use tape if you wanted, something sticky though. And then you're gonna also need a pair of scissors and some markers. I have Everett and Jackson's big tub of markers here that I'm going to borrow and then we can get started. Today we talked about how God is strong and he gives us his armor so we can be strong in him. Let's make a craft to remind us that God's armor helps us to be strong. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to color this picture to look like you. Later we'll put some armor on ourselves. So I'm going to start by coloring my picture of me. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself some eyes. I have brown eyes. You may have different colored eyes. I'm going to do a couple of brown eyes. And then on the middle of my face I have this, which is my nose. Let's see if I can find a skin colored marker. Let's see. Close enough. I'm going to draw myself a nose. And then I'm going to draw myself a mouth. My lips are pink and I'm pretty happy. So I'm going to do a big smiley face. Then I have black hair. So I'm going to draw my hair and I have long hair. Some of you may have short hair. Everybody has different lengths hair. So I'm going to draw myself some long hair. I know my hair is in a braid today, but I don't know how to draw that. Maybe you guys can get your mummies and daddies or whoever's helping you to help you draw. And then if you want, you can add some clothes to yourself. So I'm going to put some jeans on mine. So some pockets and cuffs. And then I'm going to do a shirt. Let's see, what color shirt do I want? Let's go with purple. And it's hot outside, so I'm going to make it a short sleeve t-shirt with a v-neck like that. And yeah. So you guys can feel free to draw yourself however you like. This is my picture of myself. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go through each of these pieces of God's armor. So we're going to need to cut each of these and then we're going to take each of the pieces that we cut and we're going to glue them to our little cups. So I have my scissors, so you can either do this yourself or you can have somebody help you. You can do this however you like. I'm just going to cut mine into little squares. If you want to go into greater detail and cut around, you can try to do that or have help to do that. So I'm going to cut each of my pieces of armor. This is Great. If you want to, you can even color your pieces of armor. Just have a lot of fun. Then I'm going to take my first piece of armor, which is, do you know what this is? Some of you may wear something, doesn't look exactly like this, but it's a similar idea to protect your head when you ride your bike. It's a helmet. This is the helmet of salvation. It reminds us that God saved us from all the things we have done wrong, and we can be forever friends with God. So you can color this and then you can take your glue stick and I'm going to take it and I'm going to stick it to the bottom of one of these cups. Just like that. Okay, so I can take this first cup off now that it's my helmet. So that's my helmet of salvation. And then the next is this, it almost looks like a fancy t-shirt. 
This is called body armor. So just like a helmet protects your head, this protects our body and it's called armor. This is the body armor of righteousness that helps us choose to do the right thing. So again, you can take this and you can color it whatever color you want. Or you can leave it and you can glue it to your next cup. It's got my helmet of salvation, my body armor of righteousness, and the next thing I have is this. This you can use to keep your pants up. It's called a belt. And this one is the belt of truth. And that helps us to be honest and tell the truth. So again, you can color it and take some glue and stick it to the bottom of a cup. These cups are a little bit tricky because they're really thin. So you want to make sure you have just one at a time. All right. And the next thing that we have, does anybody know what this is? Oh, actually, you know what? We're going to go with these two, which are something that we use to put on our feet. They keep our feet warm and dry when we walk around. They are shoes. And these shoes of peace remind us that God is strong. So we can have peace and not worry. So now you can also color each of your shoes. And you can glue them together side by side onto your next cup. If you want, you can cut them so they're skinnier and they fit on top of your cup without going over, but it's really whatever you prefer. I'm just going to leave mine like this. Shoes. Shoes of peace. Then the next is something that you hold out. Some of you guys may know the superhero Captain America. He has something that looks just like this and it's called a shield and you can use it to protect yourself. This is the shield of faith and it helps us always keep believing that God is with us and he'll take care of us. So you can color the shield and glue it to the top of your cup. All right. Then finally I have this. Does anybody know what this is? something else that we use to protect ourselves and it's called a sword and this sword of the spirit helps us always remember what the Bible says so you can color it and then stick it to the bottom of a cup so here we go we have all our armor so we have our helmet of salvation the body armor of righteousness the belt of truth, shoes of peace, shield of faith, and sword of the spirit. Now I'm going to just adjust the camera so that we can put our armor on. Now let's put our armor on the pictures of ourselves. When I name a part of the body, put the piece of armor we wear on that part of the body in the picture. Let's see, let's start with feet. What do we put on our feet? Do we put a helmet on our feet? No, that'd be silly. What do we put? Shoes, that's right. So, I'm gonna put the shoes on my feet. Next, let's see, what am I gonna use to keep my pants up? Am I gonna use a shield? No, that'd be too heavy. My pants might even fall down. What would I use? That's right we would put on a belt. Next, what would I use to protect my head? Would I use a shield? No, you're right. Although it would protect our head, that's not really the best one. It's a helmet! Thank you! So I'm going to put my helmet on top of my head. And what am I going to use to protect myself against other people if I need to attack somebody. There's a couple of things for this one. You can use your sword to attack and your shield to protect. And finally, what will I have to protect the rest of my body? That's right! Body armor! Okay, 
Well, this is our craft for today, and we hope that it will help you remember that it's amazing that God gives us these wonderful things to help us to be strong in Him. We can be strong because God is strong. Another thing you can play is you can take your cups off. You want to play a game with this craft. And you can say, one, two, three, go! And as fast as you can, put on all the different armor pieces. Do you want to try that? One, two, three, go! Shield! I'm going to put it in this hand, and then my sword in this hand, and then my belt on my pants, and then my body armor on my body, my helmet on my head, and my shoes on my feet. Alright, well thanks for playing!